MCs and poets such as myself know that hip hop was used as a way to spread your message to your community about what was really happening on the urban streets. This culture is new. Hip hop started, as I said earlier, just after the civil rights movement. This was in the early 70s, late 60s. You gotta think, these are a bunch of young, new, free people just after a war. Our expression was wide and it was about being able to walk down the street and show who you are and be that person and be that free being. This is a new generation, it's only about 35 years old. This is an urban culture that started on the grid. It started on the block. That is what hip hop is. The urban areas needed to create a healing element within all of the social ills that our youth were being oppressed by. We look back to the Housing Act in the late 60s and we see projects being built and we see people being given so-called rights, placed in unresourced areas, stacked on top of one another with lack of education, lack of money, lack of even the basic provis provision such as food and water. And we find that out of this culture of oppressed people came hip hop, came the spoken word poetry and the oral tradition. And, and there came the soothsayers and the people that would gather to talk about what changes needed to be made in their community to create a better now. This culture is so rich and vibrant and is sustained by the young. Because of that, it's our responsibility to reclaim the meaning of this. If you believe it, then you should be it and live it or leave it be. If you believe it, then be it and live it or leave it be. For me, it started with block parties and all night long gatherings. The standard greeting was, man, what's happening back when Empire Way became MLK? And every summer was a celebration, so we had a parade and went to Judkins Park for the Soul Fest functions. And I was so young then, but I felt grown on the bus home, all alone after dark. I used to ride through Garfield Park in a stolen shopping cart. And no, my mom didn't smoke crack or have tracks, but it doesn't erase the fact that I had to sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag with rats and spat shine shoes for a buck to get a three-in-one bar from the ice cream truck or some chicken from Ezel's. And on my feet I had everything from suede gazelles to broken jellies and fake shell tops with two stripes. I used to ride a broken BMX bike with tennis balls in the spokes. I wore terry cloth wristbands and a pink and gray troop coat little pom-pom footies and personalized hoodies. The goodies of the ghetto were ginger inside of lemons. I used to climb trees in the backyard, picking persimmons and cherries with blackberries. It was legendary. My feet carried me down endless blocks from the terrace to the vista high point and hilltop all the way back to the central district, I would say. If you believe it, then be it and live it, or leave it be. It's through.